Let's look at question one uh, exam. Uh, and let's look at the question first. Uh, write code to prompt the user to input an integer value greater than one. Okay, so we need to get an integer value from the user. So we're going to need scanner. Generate 20 random numbers that are between one and the inputted value inclusive. So we know how many uh, times we need to go around uh, our loop. We've got repetition there. Uh, so it makes sense to use a for loop here. Uh, and the maximum uh, possible value uh, needs to correspond to the value that was input by the user. Okay, so we're going to need to use that when we're dealing with the random integer generation. Uh, modify your code to display the largest and average of the generated random numbers. So let's, um, let's, let's copy those. Okay, and let's use that to develop our code here. Okay, so what do we know we need here? Uh, we need our public static void main. Uh, we know we are going to uh, be dealing with uh, random integers. Okay, so we know we're going to have to import uh, the uh, random uh, library. And we also know that Oops. Okay. We are going to be getting information from the user, so we're going to need that. Okay. So uh, let's copy the question. And basically, That's what we're going to need to do. We can generate our pseudocode from this. First thing we're going to need is uh, declaring our variables. So let's uh, read the question and figure out what we need. Okay, prompt the user to input an integer value greater than 1. Okay, so we are going to need a variable for that. And let's call it uh, upper for that. Uh, generate 20 random numbers. Okay, uh, 20 random integers in this case. Uh, that should have been more specific there. So we are going to need... Uh, we're going to need that, and then we're going to need uh, that. And then we uh, need to get the largest. Okay, so what is the largest? Uh, let's call it max, and let's initialize it at zero. Uh, we know we are going to get the average. In order to do that, we need to get uh, the total, and we will initialize that at the start. And then the average may not be an integer itself, so I'm going to define that, declare that as uh, a double. Uh, part C, uh, display a message in indicating if more even or odd numbers were generated. Okay, so we're going to need to count how many even numbers are there, how many odd numbers are there. Okay, so uh, those are both going to be integers. And right at the start, before we generate the first random integer, uh, we are going to have zero of those. And similarly, for uh, odd. Okay, 
So, let's take the pseudocode now. And let's put it down here. And let's see what we're going to get out of this. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is prompt the user to input an integer value greater than 1. So I'm just taking the question and I'm going to use that. Uh, as the basis uh, for my solution. Okay, so Okay, so I'm going to use keyboard for that. Uh, I then want something like that. Okay, and then upper Next int. Okay, so that is first part of my requirements. Okay, next part generate 20 random numbers. Okay, we can assume valid data is supplied, so we don't need to check, we don't need to write code for that. Okay, so I'm going to need a for loop. Okay, let's use a row friend i for that. Uh, i less than or equal to 20. i plus plus. Okay, so I need to... Uh, Okay, that's what we need. Random integer between 1 and upper. So we need to put a 1 at the beginning because uh, 1 is our starting point and then and put uh, the variable we got from the user uh, in the brackets there. Okay, so there is generating a random integer between 1 and the inputted value inclusive. We're doing that inside a for loop, so we're doing that 20 times. Okay, now we need to think about uh, analyzing this. Okay, and essentially what we need to do is ask, uh, is it the largest? Uh, how will it contribute to the average? Uh, and... Um, is it even or is it odd? So we've essentially four things uh, to figure out here. Okay, so is it the largest? Okay, so if uh, is it the, is it is it the largest? Is it larger than what we've currently stored? And we are using max, aren't we? Yes, we are. Okay. If that's true, then max is going to be replaced by uh, randint. Okay, so we are going to assign randint into, into max. Okay, we need to update the total. Okay, 
and what else uh, uh, is it even or is it odd so we just use modulus 2 for that Okay, so though those are our four things, uh, new max, updating the total, we no point doing anything with the average until the very end, uh, even and odd. And there's our for loop done. Okay, next thing now is to sort of consolidate all this, um, work out the average. Okay, average is double, so we need to cast total divided by 20. And we could use printf if we wanted. Okay, so that is dealing with that. Uh, that is the max and I lend some sort of message uh Everything else has to fit into the more even case. Okay, and that is uh, everything done uh, in that.